Yeah, Rick, we've been here almost since the beginning, and here's what we've just learned. Police tell me a black man in his 30s ran into this store right here behind me, Shorty's, just around 3 o'clock this afternoon. He had been shot twice in the upper and lower torso. Now, while that man offered few details about the crime, once police began canvassing the area, a few minutes later and about a block away in this direction, Rick, Vicky, they found a second victim. That man, also a black man in his 30s, was pronounced dead on the scene. He was found in an alley on Mandolin Court. Police confirmed that man was shot, but they are not releasing how many times or exactly where he was shot. In fact, they say at this point they cannot confirm if this was a singular incident, meaning the two men shot each other, or whether or not they're looking for a suspect or suspects. We've got a lot of ground to cover. We've got a number of people to talk with, uh, people who may have been inside as well as outside. I'm sure we'll also be checking some of the other establishments to see if there's any type of video available. Needless to say, the uh, weather at this point, because it's raining, doesn't help in terms of preserving evidence. But we're going to do everything we can to be as diligent as we can. And back here live tonight, because as you just saw, Rick, Vicki, there are two scenes. Police have called in additional officers to work this crime tonight. They're expected to be here for at least the next two hours. Now, a little bit more now about the man that ran into Shorty's about two hours ago asking for help. He was transported to University Hospital just a short time later. I'm told his injuries are non-life-threatening. Reporting live tonight on 35th, I'm Lauren Adams, WLKY News.